What is going on, people? It is your boy, Temp, and I am here to talk about uh, this case right here. This is the Nanook 935 travel case, and this is gonna be my new case for carrying gear around. I'm really excited about this case. I think it's gonna work well for my workflow. So previously, I've been using this as my travel case for all of my gear and stuff. This is the Think Tank Urban Access 15. It's been working out pretty good. It's a really well-built book bag. It has a decent amount of space, but as I've been traveling and doing more gigs, when you really pack this thing, even though it has these little straps up here to help alleviate some of the weight I definitely feel a lot of the weight on my back still so one reason why I got this case is because one it's a rolling case so I'm not gonna have to worry about my back hurting two it gives me a little bit more space than the book bag does this bag once you open it up it doesn't have as much space as I would like so in this video I'm going to be organizing all of my camera gear so that I can put it in this case which I'm really looking forward to because I love organizing and getting things right for my workflow is very therapeutic for me so I'm gonna do that for you guys in just a minute but before I do that please be sure to like comment subscribe rate review any way that you guys want to show love if you like the content I really appreciate it or if you guys want to follow me on Instagram you can follow me at for you from temp you could check out some of my work there as well and uh, yeah let's get to the case so one thing that I like about this case is the latch system it has this cool I think it's called smart claw system it's a two-stage system to make sure that your cases are secure easy on the fingers and also what I like about this is that if you hold it down, you can close the case quietly, which is something that you can't really do with other cases. I love the fact that the handle is a one-handed system. If you guys are familiar with Pelican, it's more of like a two-hand system where you have to pull back the clip and then pull up the handle. And this is really smart. And also this has two different stages of heights. So it'll work well if you're tall or if you're short. I love these handles up here that retract automatically. Let me go ahead and open up the case real quick. So this is what the inside of the case looks like. I decided to go with the divider system instead of the foam system. And I also opted to get the lid organizer for some extra organization. This is cool because I have three pouches and I also have this little slot right here for a laptop, which is a nice added feature. Okay, so now I'm going to change the camera angle and get a top down view so you guys can see how I organize the case. So what I'm thinking is lenses on top, camera body here, uh, maybe if I can fit some accessories on the side, I will. Uh, audio stuff and monitor stuff here. And then on the bottom, any extra accessories that I can fit, I'm gonna squeeze here at the bottom. So I have my Sigma 24 to 70 lens and I'm gonna squeeze that somewhere up here. Okay, so here is my 18 to 35. I'm going to, I wanna see if I can stand it up straight, but I think it might be a bit too tall. Kinda depends on what I put in here, but for now, I'm gonna lay it down flat. I'm trying to put my camera body somewhere down here. Here's my 6K Pro, and I really underestimate how big this camera is and how much space it takes up. So, all right, let's put that here. Get it a little tighter. Okay, so these long pieces have this crease here, which bend and they're very floppy and I'm not a fan of that. So for this one, I put a little bit of gaff tape on it. I want it to be like more firm so that it feels a bit more secure. So hopefully that works out. Okay, I think I got it somewhat and I got some stuff here. All right, let's move on. So I have two V-mount batteries. This is the FX Lion Nano 1. This is the KMT V Mini 99. Uh, I actually just got this in the mail today. Uh, I'm gonna put these in these two slots right here. It's just not working out the way that I wanted it to. What if I rotated the camera? Hold on. Okay, that immediately feels 10 times better. Camera feels way more secure this way. Let's slide the monitor here. So it feels pretty good. I like that. Maybe audio stuff here. This is my H6 recorder. I'm gonna tuck that in here. Actually, I'm gonna lay that flat. Okay, got my road mic, gonna put that here. Okay, that's a good fit. Uh, batteries, batteries, batteries. Let's see, do I want my batteries to be here? So I gotta put one here, I gotta put one here. So maybe that might work. I did buy this case for batteries, so I'm gonna see if they fit in here. Oh no, this case might be too bulky. I don't know, should I keep this case? I don't know. Let's see if I can find a way to do it without the case. I don't have like two stacked here. Okay, so can I put my battery plate here? 
Uh, all right, what am I gonna do with that? Maybe I'll put that up here. To keep that there for now. So I have some accessories. I have like some top handles and stuff. Then I have my base plate. So I think I'll just tuck those in here. Okay, so I have my hard drive, which I'm gonna put probably one of these things up here. Since I don't have a good spot for my rails, I'm gonna put them in the laptop case for now. I also have this Peak Design strap that I like to use. So I'm gonna put that in the laptop sleeve as well. So I have these accessories here for my monitor. I'm gonna put them in one of these sleeves. So I have a little aperture light in here. I also have a loom cube light in here as well. So I'm just gonna tuck that in a little space right there. Okay, I think I am done. I have my lenses up here, my camera body here. And whenever I do shoot with like my M50s, I'm gonna, um, actually let me keep a, I'm gonna keep a few of these on the side because I'm gonna use this space for my M50s and any other accessories that come with that. I got my monitor here. I got my audio stuff here. I got my extra light if I need it. I got all my batteries that I use. And I have all my accessories here at the bottom. Then I have my SSD card. I have my accessories for the monitor. And then I have my battery plate and cable up in here. Okay, so that's it for this video. My overall thoughts are, I really do like the case a lot. I think it's definitely gonna be better than the backpack. But I do think I need a bit more space. There are some things that I could have fit in there that I didn't really have the chance to. And overall, it didn't give me that much more space compared to my book bag. So I was definitely thinking about getting the 955 versus the 35. And I think that ultimately I'm gonna go for the 955. But if you don't have as much gear as I do, the 935 is definitely a very, very solid pick. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you guys wanna follow me on instagram you guys can follow me at for you from temp and i will see you guys on the next one